the big thing was that uh, Lee started playing drums with us. Lee started playing drums, and uh, Jeffrey Trayers was teaching him drums. And of course, he's, that brought in the whole thing of Lee listening to his dad playing drums in Blaze X. And then we all kind of started listening to Blaze X. And then we're like, you know, this is sounds good. So kind of you get the, the Blaze X is a real simple template of how to write a song and how to write it the different elements in a song and what, what's good and what's bad it's hard, it's hard not to, what's bad but you know it's hard to comprehend sometimes when you hear a good song on CD like that that it's actually from your own town it's from people you know great talent around you can't really hide from it big thing for, as well with, with Noli when Noli was writing songs is um, the you'd know what's going on with himself when you if you're if you know him you know so you know what he's writing about and you know how he writes the songs and so you're kind of getting an inside look at someone who's writing good songs and you, you know, it gives you an, an idea of things, but all you can try and do is, 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 is do as, as, as well as you can and try and match up to it, but sometimes it can be harder than others, you know? When you, when you, when you hear a song and it's someone you know personally singing it, it means a lot more to you instantly, I think. And that's what uh, the story is in tune. Sometimes I know, sometimes I just don't know. Everywhere I go I've got company Sometimes it's me Sometimes it's just not me What you see I spent a number of years uh, traveling around. I was in the, I was in the States for, for a good while and uh, I was kind of uh, doing this and that and I also, you know, I, I was in college in between and I, I lived in Galway a lot of the time. I kind of hadn't been to Tune for a while, it felt like. And um, so when I came back to Tune, I came back as a teacher. I got a job up in uh, St. Patrick's College and uh, that job lasted for four years, I think four years, yeah. And uh, I had a great time there in just kind of being back in town and being involved in, in you know, with people who are from Tume and, you know, I really enjoyed it. And I, it coincided also though with a time when I started to have more confidence in my own songs or something. There was a songwriter's night that had happened in Galway and uh, in the King's Head actually, which is, again, you know, it's owned by a Tume family. And it was the first time that I started to sing with confidence my own songs. And uh, that's what, you know, also when I was teaching. So I was getting up in the morning and going down to Chum and, and teaching lads all through the day. And then at night time I was coming home writing songs and, and going out and playing them in songwriters clubs and this kind of thing. And one thing kind of led to another. And I ended up um, having to make a decision about whether I was going to keep on with the teaching or have a, have a lash at the music. And so after four years of, of teaching at St. Patrick's College, I decided to kind of give it a go and um, I've been playing music ever since. It was towards the end of the 70s then that I kind of thought to myself, I wouldn't mind, it'd be lovely to write a song. It'd be lovely to write a song, I thought, that people would still sing in a hundred years time, you know what I mean? Something to go down into the, the history books. And I always thought that people, uh, everyone has got one song in them, no matter what it is, whether it's a good one or a bad one or whatever, everyone's got one song in them. So just towards the end of the 70s then, I, I, met, uh, I met a fella called Paul Kniff, and he was the same attitude, write a song. So I had to kind of think about what am I gonna, what instrument am I going to try and learn here? So the easiest thing is a guitar, it's the cheapest thing in the, you know, that's the first thing you go for. So it took me a while, I'm still learning it like, so it took me a while, but we started writing songs. As soon as we knew a few chords, started writing songs. And started that ba a band called Blaze X. Should I really care? 
you got a crush on me. I came on of age, I suppose, as a young teenager, and I went up to see this band rehearsing in the youth club. And Paul Kniff, who I'd known, and his brother was in my class, Sean. And Davy Carton, who I knew, played a lot of soccer, and Paul Rafe, and Gerald Keaton, who had this band called Blaze X. And I simply couldn't believe that there was a band of this quality doing exactly the kind of music I loved so well in tube. And it was a great inspiration for me and for, for a lot of other people. Songs like I Used to Love Her and that came out of the Blaze X thing with Paul Kniff. And I remember Leo being a, Leo being a fan of Blaze X. And he came to me in the middle, like it was probably about, I had given up, gone back to work and I was gonna, I, 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 I figured that my music career was over. And Leo came to me around 84, 85, and he, he said, can't be leaving these songs lying around, you know, nobody's singing them. And, so, and we started writing together. And that's how the whole thing started again for me, songwriting. You got a crush on me. Just about the time that punk was going on, it was a do-it-yourself sort of uh, culture that was I was involved in anyway. And from that I arrived back in Tune and met up with a couple of young fellas who were writing really good songs. And they were starting a band called Players X, so I, uh, I got involved and helped them make the first single. And that was really good. That's going to come out on vinyl again now in the 2009. Whenever anybody would be singing a song, I'd be there listening because because it, 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 it was something, there was a magnetism to the process for me just to be part of it. I thought my songs were brilliant. I thought they were brilliant because I was the only person who knew anything about them. But like, the only way you can ever know if a song is brilliant is if you play it for somebody else. And, uh, and they just you know, they don't like it or there's no interest, so then you think, gee, maybe your song is not so brilliant, you know. Songwriting is a very hard thing, really. You know, if you th it's very hard to know if your song is is good or not good. or um, So you write a song, you try your best, and then you put it out there, and if there's no reaction from people, it's, it's, it's very hard, you know. <laughs> 